I wanted to show you guys how I checked piston pin to connecting rod clearance and piston pin to piston clearance as well. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to mic these pins um, and I'm going to use the same mic setting to set our connecting rod. Um, it's basically a dial board gauge, but it's a rod machine that will measure the pin in and it will also allow us to measure the piston in. Uh, refer to the manufacturer's spec for what they want for clearance here. Our rule of thumb is 8 tenths to 1.2. Um, we've ran them pretty loose. I mean, I've seen stuff two and a half, three thou. Uh, you know, obviously that's typically in a like, let's reuse it, not the, isn't in the budget to buy a new set of rods. So, um, so yeah, so I'm gonna mic this pin a second, then we'll go over and set the machine up and we'll run through all the connecting rod clearances and see where we're at. Here's a good example of why you measure everything. Uh, these pin, piston to pin clearance, um, again, our tolerance is 8 tenths to 1.2 foul. Uh, they were 4 tenths to 7 tenths of a thousandth of an inch. Um, so a couple of them are a little tight. A quick Google search would show you some manufacturers are okay down to 7 tenths of a thou. Uh, but being that there's only two of them that were at that tolerance, I'm going to hone them all with my target being uh, between 8 and 1.2, aiming at 1 thou. Uh, so I'm going to set the rod hone up and do a time lapse of honing these rods for you guys. Okay, you saw me check the uh, piston pin to connecting rod clearance and the piston pin to piston clearance. I had to hone uh, the connecting rod side. As I said previously, it was a bit tight. The pistons were also tight. I didn't show a video of honing those, but I had to hone those as well. They were five tenths. They're, they're uh, around eight pretty consistently now. Um, so now that those are all set, um, the next clearance you need to check prior to hanging all of the pistons is the pin end of the, or the, the small end width clearance here. So the distance between the connecting rod and the, the strut or the support here in the piston. Um, so I'm gonna set this thing up real quick and show you how I do that. Okay, so you're gonna wanna hang the, well, mock hang, I don't have any, any wire locks in this. So you're gonna wanna check this or hang these and then check the side clearance. So on these, there's clearly, I mean, plenty. My minimum is usually 80 thou. Uh, sometimes if we do a custom piston, I'll close this width up and uh, allow us to run or try to, in an attempt, I guess, to get to the next step narrower pin um, that would make the, you know, the piston side uh, quite a bit lighter. You narrow the pin up, pin obviously being the heaviest part of the the piston assembly, right? So 
so yeah that's just something to keep an eye on you can see here i got like a quarter i got way more than <laughs> way more than what uh what my minimum is but it's something you need to keep uh keep an eye on and uh you know always again remember to check everything um so now that uh all of our clearances have been checked uh you can proceed and it's time to time to uh hang all the pistons so um i'm gonna get these things all hung and ready to go together <laughs> 